Hey everybody. Uh, sorry about all that. I was venting out a little frustration. See, I made some chicken cordon bleu, at least I tried to make it about a week or so ago. And I shot about half of the video. But then I stopped it because in the middle of it I realized I messed up a few things. Like, I didn't, well, I skipped some crucial steps. And I messed up the hollandaise a little bit. I overcooked the chicken. And surprisingly, after I cooked it all, it still tasted fine. But I don't want to teach you how to make fine food. I want to teach you how to make delicious food. And wait, actually, fine food is a colloquial term to upscale food. But I, ah, never mind. Come on. Oh, wait, I'm already in here. So first what we have here is our boneless skinless chicken breast. Now you're probably wondering why it's on a cutting board instead of on the wax paper like all the proteins I usually do. Well, before we season it, we're going to have to butterfly this breast. And by butterflying, I mean to take your serrated knife and cut it like so. See? Now you have two pieces for the price of one. Now it's on to the wax paper. But before we get to seasoning, we're going to first cover everything with another sheet of wax paper. And then we're going to flatten out our chicken breast pieces with, you can use a mallet, but I like to use my rolling pin. Simply because I don't think I have a mallet. If I do, I don't know where it is. So we're just gonna roll it like so, or you know what? Forget that. There. Now we can get to seasoning. There. Season salt and black pepper, of course. On both sides, of course. Now, I've already had some vegetable oil simmering in this pot. So what I did just now is increase the heat to medium high, of course. And now we're going to drop our chicken pieces in. Oops, we did it. Come on, come on. Oh, it fell apart a little bit, but that's okay. To fix that easily enough. And we are going to let those roll for about 4 minutes and 30 seconds on the first side and 4 minutes on the second side. Okay, now it's time to build our sandwich. So first we have our first piece of chicken and then we topped it with some ham. I got this ham from the deli, don't judge me. Add our homemade mozzarella cheese spread. And finally end with our second piece of chicken. Now we're gonna... What? It looks like a double down sandwich. Anyway, now we're gonna get to coating. But we're gonna coat this, well, with the flour, similar to the way that we coat the stuffed French toast. Which means... Hold on to the sandwich while it's in the bag and then shake it for 15 seconds or so until it's all covered up. I think that's good enough. And you're familiar with the rest of the coating process, so this is the end result. And we're going to shove that into a 350 degree oven for 16 minutes. There we go. And as you can see now, I topped it with some homemade hollandaise sauce and a little bit of parsley. And of course, this is a fork and knife dish. Oops, some ham getting in the way a little bit there. Mm. 
Good things come to those who wait. This is delicious. Okay, that's going to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this in the midst of all the sniffling. Apparently, I'm getting over a little bit of a small runny nose or something. And if you want the recipe for this, as usual, you know exactly where to look. Thanks for being with me, and I'll... What? Do I have any blue food coloring? Sure, right here. Why? I... For authentic chicken cordon bleu? First of all, that's not what... Mm.